Good afternoon, guys. Yes, it's me again. I'm sorry about that. But welcome to another review from me, Matt, the Bit of Berserker. So, yeah, it's a horrid afternoon out there. It's raining, the wind's getting up. Not particularly pleasant here on the Norfolk coast, but welcome. And thank you guys for all the support that I'm getting over there on Instagram as Viking Beard Matt and here on my Bearded Berserker YouTube channel where I'm trying my hardest to help promote, support and advertise only small brands, individuals and craftsmen out there, not these huge, massive, faceless brands. I know I say that each and every single time, but because I do so many different reviews and varied things, people watch different videos and everything, so it's just to give you a bit of background information. So yeah, as you'll notice, I've moved um, sort of where I usually do my reviews. Uh, I've got the Christmas tree out because of, I know, yes, it's stupidly early to have the Christmas tree out. But I'm starting to get Christmas reviews through now. And there's no point in me doing reviews for Christmas in November and December when everybody's already bought for Christmas. So hence the reason I wanted to start doing it a bit earlier as opposed to later. So this afternoon has been review has been very kindly sent through by the Rune Beard Company based in the Lake District here in the UK and very very small brand only have three oils out and very kindly um, Lindsay has sent me through these three beard oils to have a look at see what I think of and give you guys my honest opinion. Now with all the reviews that I do on my channel all of my reviews are all the products I've tried, I've tested, I've used, so it's not just an unboxing, because I'm not particularly keen on unboxing videos. I like to see how a product performs and what it's like, as opposed to just looking at it and going, oh yeah, it looks all right. So I have tried and used these. As with all the reviews I do, links will be down below in the description box. So please make sure to give the Rune Beard Company a follow, some help, and create some, She's really created some three good beard oils. So first of all, there was the card that came in the box. Nice logo and everything with the flames on there. And a note on the back. And I do like these little notes when I do reviews and everything. I've actually kept every single note from day one of all the reviews. To Matt, Beard of Berserker, uh, thank you so much for the review. I really hope you like the products. All the best, Lindsay, TRBC, the Room Beard Company. So yeah, I do find with some beard brands, they have so many different scents out and everything. And I do prefer it when a beard company has three, sort of one, two, three, five beard oils that they put the same consistency into as opposed to just loads and loads of different scents. And they're all kind of a bit mediocre, not quite as good as the last. So I've tried these. First of all, we're gonna be looking at the packaging. As you can see, these are Viking Norse inspired with the runes on the front, the Elder Fabak runes. Uh, we have this one, Othala. We have this one, Manaz. And we have this one, Ingers. So there you go. It's nice to see something different because I do kind of get a bit tired of seeing the same sort of the silhouette of the beard on bottles of beard oils. And it's nice when people do something different and think out of the box. Um, all of these beard oils have been CPSR checked and have been tested to EU standards. All of them are 100% natural and they're vegan and cruelty free, which is great as well. Came in a box with some sawdust on there. Now, first of all, the packaging on there, like I was saying, if you look very closely, they've kind of got kind of a mottling like sparks coming off of a flame on there, which is kind of nice addition because if you look at the the actual business card as well, it's got flame on there and the little sparks flying off. So it's been carried over onto the actual labels as well, which gives it a nice kind of look. All the bottles, brown, glam, and brown amber glass. And the reason that they come in either the sort of Bristol blue, amber glass, opaque and everything is to stop those harmful UV rays whatever that was, I think that was a UV ray, from getting inside, breaking down and degrading the oils inside. Um, ingredients, base oil wise, is sweet almond oil, jojoba oil, or jojoba oil if you're posh, uh, wheat germ oil and vitamin E extract. And the first one we're gonna be looking at is Ingas. Now I have tried and I tested these so I do know exactly what they smell like. Allegedly it's supposed to be frankincense, cinnamon, sweet orange and rosewood. And first off the bat, I don't really smell beard oils from the bottle anymore because 
They tend to work a bit differently once you start generating some heat through them. So you can see pale yellow liquid in there. A few drops on my hand. Make sure the lid's on because I don't want to throw it all over the floor. Because believe it or not, the wife is literally sitting just behind the iPad and watching me very carefully that I don't throw it everywhere. Straight off the bat, you've got to be very careful with cinnamon because it's one of those overpowering scents that will just blast through everything. And this has actually been used very subtly. I can smell um, the cinnamon in there and the frankincense and the sweet orange and rosewood. And I do have my scent chart here. So we have very subtle, regular, rip your head off, smack it with an axe into next year. And this I'm rating at a medium way up, which is quite nice because... I, I know I do like my sort of really potent scents and everything, but sometimes you want something a bit more relaxed. And this is kind of not subtle, not in the middle, just sort of down that way. And it's a really nice kind of gentle scent. It's not <laughs> knock your head off. Medium viscosity, um, always make sure you do a test patch first for at least 24 hours before you start slathering your face and beard and beard oils and products and cosmetics and whatever. Really nice scent on this. I do like the fact that the cinnamon's not too punchy. Would work extremely well with different scented beard oils. You could, uh, sorry, beard balms, like you could put a spiced orange one in there. It would work extremely well with another woody scent. That orange just kind of helps to lift it a little bit. Really nice and on average, it's lasting for around about three hours before I can no longer smell it anymore. But that's just because you get used to the stuff. But yeah, really nice, seeps into the skin nice and easily. I've had no issues with redness, dryness, flaky skin, clumps of hair falling off, turning into a vampire or werewolf or anything like that. So it's really nice. I'm just gonna angle the camera down a little bit because it's moved. So that was Inga's. The second one we're gonna be looking at is called Menaz. There it is, just make sure my hands don't smell at the last because I don't want to cross contaminate the scents and go, it doesn't smell like that. So this one, pine, sand, or Scots pine, sandalwood, rosemary, and grapefruit. Interesting combination. There you go, same sort of color liquid. Again, medium viscosity to it, not weak. Wife's watching me again, making sure I don't throw it everywhere. There you go, third time of charm. So this one. Again, it's kind of that sort of, not subtle, not medium, just almost three quarters of the way up to medium. It's a really nice, easy going scent, not too punchy. Definitely smell the pine in there and the sandalwood. Kind of got a sourness of the grapefruit to it as well. I'm not detecting too much of the rosemary. And don't get me wrong, I really love my deep, heady, rich sort of like, scents and everything but scots pine and pine in general can be one of those ones that if there's too strong in there it ends up smelling like floor cleaner and disinfectant believe it or not that pine has actually just dropped back and it's now actually picking up the sandalwood and the rosemary in there kind of quite a nice earthy tone with that one Again, it would go really well with other sorts of beard balms because I do like to mix and match. You don't just because you've got beard oil and beard balm doesn't mean they've got a match. You can always sort of complement them with different flavours, and I like doing that, especially when it comes to winter. We're doing your foresty ones, uh, your cinnamon ones with oranges and citrus and everything. Create your own scent. Done one not so long ago. I had uh, what was it? Chocolate uh, beard oil. And I paired it with a coffee beard balm, and that came out really nice. It smelled like a mocha. So, yeah, always play around with your scents. So, that was the Menaz, the pine, sandalwood, rosemary, and grapefruit. And the last one we have here is Othala, uh, which is allegedly lemongrass, lemon, black pepper, and sandalwood. Give it a shake. Sounds like Orangina. Give it a shake. Wake the flavour. I don't know whether you can still buy Orangina. Can you still buy Orangina? I think you can, but not many places do sell it. I remember that back in the 80s. It used to be flat and sort of not very pleasant <coughs> until you shake it. Like a bulbous shape. Yeah, it was like a light bulb shape, wasn't it? Mm. So this one. 
Yeah, this one's a bit sort of more closer to the medium sort of scent wise. Definitely smelling the sandalwood, the lemon and the lemongrass. Not too much of the black pepper. Not really detecting a spicy note to it, but black pepper I've, I've done sort of like in other reviews and stuff like that. And it's one of those ones that's, in my opinion, a bit hit and miss. Smells really nice. Again, so just, it's punchier than the first one, but very subtle, well, <coughs> they're all very subtle, well-rounded, nice, isn't it? They're not sort of jaggedy sort of scents, if that makes sense at all. Yeah, that instant hit of lemon and lemongrass has kind of died down. Definitely the sandalwood's kind of picked up over that, so it almost like works in stages. Really nice, really nice smells, really nice scents, really well put together because there is nothing worse than going out and buying a beard oil or beard balm. You buy it because of the scent, it comes through and it smells nothing like it. So I always make sure that kind of like the description fits how they actually smell. And I know different people smell different things, so it's down to opinions and personal preferences and everything. Now these are in 20 ml bottles. I know they're in 20 ml bottles because that's the only size bottle she does. And it's got 20 mil written on the back. There you go. I'm sure that says 20 on there. Just check, honey. That does say 20 on that for me. Don't, don't want to throw it at you. I'm sure it said 20. I need some stronger glasses. 20 mil. Yes. I'll throw it back to you. Thank you. So, yeah, it comes in 20 mil bottles and price on them, eight quid. Which, to be honest, can't complain about for eight pounds is pretty damn cheap it's gonna last <coughs> excuse me still having issues with my throat um it's gonna last you ages bearing in mind i use literally 10 maybe 11 drops per day um in my beard so they are gonna last you a long while really really good quality great customer service like i say bless her she's only kind of like really just started she's got the three products out but the product she has created is really good. If you're looking for a nice, decent, well, to, well put together scent, kind of subtly to medium sort of scent strength, gonna last a while, really, really well put together. So thank you very much to Lindsay from the Rune Beard, um, Rune Beard Company. Be nice to see if she brings out some more scents of other uh, runes or whether she brings out any beer balms or anything like that but i hope you've enjoyed this little review this afternoon um i'm gonna go and have some lunch now and get some reviews ready to do tomorrow morning before i head off to work but yeah wherever you guys are in the world whatever you're getting up to keep on taking care of each other keep on helping supporting each other and above all because you only live once love each other stay safe stay healthy Thank you so much to the Room Beard Company, Lindsay, for sending that through. Links down below in the description box. Anybody needs any help, support or anything, get in touch with me. I would love to hear from you. Really passionate about what I'm trying to do here. Have a great afternoon, guys. Thank you.